Hello everyone. Welcome to the discussion of bubble chart. Let me first rename this sheet to bubble chart. We will be looking into a, a few variants of bubble chart. We will look into the manual way of creating the bubble chart now. Here, there are two purposes for a bubble chart to be used. One bubble chart variation will help you exhibit a height width correlation between values. Let us first try to analyze this. In order to proceed further, all we need to do is double click on the measures that we want to place. For example, if I double click on profit, that measure would go and reside on the column shelf. And we can double click the sales now. It would go and sit in the column shelf. Rather than dragging and dropping, I would request you all to start practicing the double click, which is much faster. And these are the kind of questions which you would be tested on in the interviews as well. All right. Now let us do a drop down on the mark type and let's choose the circle. If we want a lot of circles being represented based on subcategory, all we need to do is drag and drop the subcategory onto the label. There we go. So we have each circle representing one subcategory. Also, we can now drag and drop the profit measure on the color so that each bubble is colored based on the profit value. Here we have tables in red color. That means we are into losses. Anything which is below this $0 reference line would be in red color. Though the darkness of the color would get reduced as in how these dark red circles approach this line of zero mark, which is zero profit. Now let us drag sales and drop it on the size so that we might look into both sales and profits in one specific visualization here. You can also use the size slider on the marks card to ensure that we resize it to meet our requirements. However, there is one small challenge that I see here. Is this envelopes for this bubble or for art? And there are too many bubbles here that's making this specific location a lot cluttered. In order to get rid of this, all we can do is click on label on the marks card and select highlight here. So marks to label highlighted. The moment we select that, the labels are gone and the labels would reappear only when we select a specific bubble there. For example, we have storage here, we have tables here, we have phones here, so on and so forth. And we know for a fact that we have the highest profits for copiers. Highest profits for kind of less sales. And that is where we want to be for Small sales, we want high profits. This is one bubble chart wherein you have the height to width correlation between the various values. The correlation between sales and profit. Now, let me create another bubble chart or another worksheet here rather. And let me rename that to bubble chart underscore First, we will do it manually. So I'll put bubble chart underscore manual process. Let me change that to manual. Oh, sorry, my bad. All right. Now, all we need to do here is start off by choosing the circle from the drop down of the marks card as part of your first step. Then let us add the dimension whose members you want to create bubbles for. So let us drag subcategory and drop it on the label there. The moment we do that, 
we have blue circles which are all equal size. But if we want to arrange these bubbles based on profit, we need to drag and drop profit on the color. You see the variance of the color. Now if I drag and drop the sales measure on size, you get a bubble chart. This is the exact chart that you would see if you select sales and press the command key or the control key and select subcategory. Do a drop down on the show me panel and select this bubble chart. Except for the various colors, this in this is a similar kind of representation. The only change that we can do is drag and drop your subcategory and put back the profit on the color there we go so there is no difference between this and this so let me rename this to this specific chart which is called as packed bubbles you do not have any correlation that you can establish the only thing that you can notice here is based on sales size of each bubble increases or decreases that's a simple packed bubbles chart so let me rename this to packed bubble default chart all right stay tuned because the next recording will explain you about the bullet graph which is extremely important from the visualization Thank you.